Hey guys, it's Bad Sarah wanted to thank you for clicking on the video. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps us grow so we can bring you more quality content and then we'll go ahead and get you to the uh, gardens at Bellagio a lot faster. Hey guys, Ace of Vegas here and today we are gonna go ahead and <gasps> I guess we're going to play some Grand Dragon here. So, uh, Grand Dragon, I'm not sure if you guys know, this is an Ainsworth slot here. I'm going to go ahead and load this right now. That's now loaded. Okay. Um, this is an Ainsworth slot. So this is actually a slot you can play in real life. Unfortunately, with these slots, I find that often they act as if uh, they're real life slots. I'll explain a little more later. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up. We are loading into Grand Dragon here. It's a really cool slot. Created by Ainsworth, they're an Australian gaming company. I believe they're Australian. I'm going to say that out loud, and then it's going to turn out that they're actually from New Zealand or something like that, and I'm going to sound terrible. But anyway, though, so we'll go ahead and do the third bet line, which is 200,000, which isn't too bad, actually. So that means we'll be risking uh, 20 million of our 200 million. So we're largely up for the ex for the experiment as a whole. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this. And then I guess we'll go ahead and see what we do, and then we'll go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock. Ready and go. All right. Now here's the thing about most of the my Konami and the Ainsworth uh, slots and all that. I find them to be terribly boring, and it's not necessarily because well, you guys are gonna go ahead and see here. It's because they have these really long animations. They're kind of like a, a a real uh, a real casino game in that regard. And they actually, uh, they usually don't hit so well, is another thing. Like, they're really tight slots. They think they're in the actual casino game, which is generally annoys me. Uh, the bonuses are pretty uh, far and few between, too, which is another thing. And they're generally only free spins. So they're probably the most boring slots to watch and the most boring slots to play, unfortunately. Um, the good news is there's not a lot of interaction with these slots, so if you are interested in a game with low interaction, this would be uh, this would be a game for you guys. Um, Lotus Land is another one of them. Um, pretty much all the uh, Ainsworth and uh, Konami style slots there. And um, I'm sure you guys know I am a recovering Yu-Gi-Oh player, so uh, I definitely have my beefs with Konami, uh, whether it be their uh, timing on their ban lists or their printing of their cards, or in this particular case, how uh, stingy they are about their slots and their slot bonuses. So there's that. Um, nice thing about this game is that it crosses over to my Konami slot, so you always have kind of a familiar game to go back to, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, and that's pretty much where the benefits stop right there. Uh, what else did I really want to talk about? I kind of want to talk a little bit about casino safety and gaming safety. We had an unfortunate incident in uh, Jacksonville actually this last weekend. Um, some uh, total uh, tool bag decided to go ahead and shoot up a Madden tournament after, I'm presuming after he lost, which uh, disgusts me to no end really because I know, uh, number one, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't about the game. I mean, you you won a game, you lose a game. You've, if you've had a championship before, you know that's how that works. Even if you haven't had a championship before, you know that's how that works. So there is, an, I, you know, the guy, the guy clearly wasn't reacting to losing a game he was this is a premeditated thing if you if you ask me and he's total trash for even doing it too so there's uh, there's that um, but yeah it got me got me thinking about safety especially in um, you know the Yu-Gi-Oh community that was a big thing uh, for me and then you know actually in casinos too because you know casino there's a lot of money out there um, there is you know a lot of money to be had there's a lot of alcohol um, you know there there are drugs in Las Vegas especially too and you know things uh, crazy things happen when uh, people are out there and uh, doing that sort of stuff so just got uh, got me thinking about safety especially since you know Las Vegas Nevada is where the route 91 harvest festival where that uh, where that all went down um, with the shooting with Stephen Paddock and all, you know, and, you know, re you know, rest the souls of all the uh, all the innocent people that uh, that that man murdered, uh, and I use man in a very loose term because I think he's uh, less than human personally, and the same, you know, the same same thing with this Jacksonville guy just wiling out and going off on a Madden tournament too, uh, but. <clears throat> 
Yeah, big thing about safety is number one, you know, you always want to know where your exits are relative to where you are. And it's a good safety tip for anywhere that you are. Another good safety tip for anywhere that you are is uh, you always want to make sure that you know who you're with and you keep your valuables close with you. Um, you hear gunfire, you want to go ahead and get as low as possible. It is hard to, you know, it's, it's really hard to, much harder to get hit at that level there. And, um, you know, def definitely be familiar with, with where you're going. Don't go with anyone that you don't know, that you don't trust, that sort of thing. So that's a big thing. So that's my that's my rant on, uh, on safety, especially going to big events like that, because, you know, big events, especially gaming events or music events, concert events, those sorts of things, that's going to draw a big crowd also susceptible to big problems there. Alright, so looking at the game so far, we are in a wee bit of a rough spot here. We've, uh, wow, yeah, so we've, uh, we started at 232 million or so, and, um, let's see, this wants me to come up with a card here. And we're already down a good 2 million chips, good 3 million chips, actually. Just a few chips, and we've had very few actually distracting uh, bonuses. There is a, there's a little quest that's going on on the right hand side here that just terribly disinterests me unfortunately, so I'm not really going to get into that. Um, it's not like we haven't had a lot of hits. We've had hits on basically everything, but they've been these kind of piddly little hits where it's only like uh, 20,000, so it's just a little bit of change compared to what we had before. And, you know, this is just, it's a really bland slot to play, I gotta admit. I haven't seen a single uh, Lucky Dragon coming across uh, coming across the nose there. And for something that's actually called uh, Golden Dragons, Lucky Dragons, that sort of stuff, you figure, eh, we get a little more dragon action, not just, uh, not just the random slot machines here. And this is the sort of stuff that I really just hate about slots, is waiting for something to happen, and then, you know, like a, being a zombie and just putting the money in, I despise that. At least the other games, you know, they're interactive, you get some fun bonuses here and there. Even the auto spins have some great music. I'm not to say that the music on this one is uh, bad or anything. It's pretty par for the course. Um, it's just boring. I think we've had one one million chip uh, spin there, and then we've had one one or two big bonuses um, that are just off the quests, but nothing else really. Yeah, and I gotta keep. Uh, clicking the skip button over here and this is yeah this has just been a terrible slot here I feel like I'm just losing money I feel like we're hemorrhaging money on this game this is terribly bland terribly boring I'd probably say this is even if uh, if we win somebody on this I'm still gonna go ahead and say that this is like the worst slot in my Vegas hands down yeah no questions asked um, let's see, anything else happening here? Yeah, there's nothing really going down. This is so boring. It's like the worst thing ever. Yeah, I got like 20,000 on for this one. 20,000 spin, are you kidding? Yeah, 24,000, 240,000. Yeah, this is really hard to play. You know, I even kind of lost track of how many spins that we have. I, th I think we legitimately only have uh, 10 spins left. And we're going to go ahead and play out those last 10 spins. And this has probably been the worst game ever. I'm sorry, guys, but literally nothing has happened. I've been complaining about um, security at these big, uh, big events and, you know, um, all these terrible people that um, just, I don't know what their problem is, but, you know, just, just going to these places and being, you know, mass shooters and all that has probably been one of the most bland and depressing videos I've ever made. I do apologize for that. I'll try and make, uh, try and make tomorrow's a little more interesting. Uh, maybe uh, maybe have something something a little more interesting to actually talk about, and I guess this is our, this is what we're really getting. These are our big ones, <laughs> and I guess we'll do one more, and that's a hundred. So, <laughs> wow, um, we ended at two hundred twenty-eight million, two hundred ninety-nine thousand five hundred sixty-six. 
Um, I think we're going to go ahead and take a quick little break over here, count everything up, and then uh, rock and roll from there. So thanks again, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So did some calculations. Looks like we uh, put in about 20 million chips through the machine, and we only came back out with uh, 13,894,000 chips, meaning that we uh, lost somewhere in the neighborhood of 6,106,000 chips, uh, leaving us with a payback percentage of 69.47%. That is worse than XK. Caliber. And the worst part about it is we didn't get any entertaining pick bonuses. I think we actually would have done worse if it wasn't for that random little uh, quest that we had over there. I didn't even pay attention to the quest. The game was so boring. I mean, it kind of embellished the wins and uh, kind of skipped over the losses. It, it was just like a real slot machine. And, you know, I, I hate slots. I really just hate slots, and that, that felt like a real slot machine and less like a video game, and that's what's enjoyable about the My Vegas. It at least feels like a video game, like you're playing as a high roller, playing as somebody that you can't uh, quite be in real life. You, you know, most of us aren't going to be able to drop uh, $200,000 a spin and um, just, you know, decide to walk away if they, with like a 70% you know, payback rate and just say, well, you know what, I had fun. That's the important thing. And... I don't know, yeah, there, there, just, there was just nothing to it. They, we didn't get any free spins, there was no bonus game, there was no fun animations, anything like that. It was just 10 to 12 minutes of terrible slot playing. So, I mean, the payback percentage is bad, and you know, frankly, I just cannot recommend it, So e even for the fun factor. So I'm going to go ahead and give that one a thumbs down. Um, normally, we'd go ahead and go up the list, but I got to find something a little more exciting than that to play tomorrow. So we're going to play something exciting tomorrow, and then we'll go ahead and balance that out with some uh, Lotus Land, I guess. I don't know. I don't really like Lotus Land either, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that when we when we play that game. But until then, Ace of Bass is signing out, and happy spinning, you guys.